welcome to the Pen Boutique. I am Ellen. I work here as a sales rep and I am going to be giving you a tour uh, of our storefront. So over here we have our Pilot Pens. These are um, the Japanese brand and they range in kind of cost from their Metropolitans, which is a great beginner pen, all the way up to their Emperor Pens, their Emperor Namikis. Uh, they're a really cool brand, Focus a lot of focus on nibs. Uh, down here, we have just some empty bottles. We sell these for people who wanna have like an ink bottle, extra ink bottle for their inks. Um, yeah, so we have those. And then over here, next thing I'm gonna feature is Visconti. Visconti is an Italian brand. Uh, one of their pens that they're really notable for is their Homo Sapiens pens. Uh, so that's right below this one actually here. And those have lava rock in the body of the pen. It makes it really cool to the touch really cool stylistic element. Um, but they do a lot of cool uh, different like special editions, Van Gogh as well. Over here, we have a notebook spinner that has field notes and a few of our other brands that we sell here as well. Uh, and then next to it, we have uh, the Pinion Farina, which sells uh, pens, but also actually uh, different vehicles, notably like sports cars, which like might influence their design a little bit, which is pretty cool. And then below it, we have Auto Hut, which is a German brand, uh, and it's from an area that is known for jewelry. So they have some really cool uh, design uh, focused pens and lines. Over here, we have Tasha, um, Japanese brand. Uh, and right below them, we have Fisher Space, which is uh, iconic for the Fisher Space um, ballpoint pressurized refill that was used uh, down on uh, missions to space, uh, first ballpoint in space. Here we have Shikiori markers. I'll talk a little bit more about Sailor Shikiori, but those are pretty cool brush pens. Over here, we have first the Rotring. Rotring is known for their uh, pencils, actually, which you'll see in our pencil case later, but they're also known for their pens as well. They have cool pens. Then we have Penlux, uh, Opus 88, and then next to them, Euchre's pens. Euchre's are a felt tip pen that uses cartridges like a fountain pen. Down here, we have Twisby. Twisby is a uh, Taiwanese brand known for their demonstrator quality of their pens and also um, the built-in uh, reservoirs, ink reservoirs, that are really, uh, ugh, whole a lot of ink is what I meant to say. Uh, over here, we have uh, Sailor uh, Ink Studio Ink. So this is a wide range of inks, but uh, they are known for their ink craftsmanship. And then below it, as Laura is showing you right now, is our limited edition case. These change all the time, depending on what we sell and what we uh, get in. So these are really high-end pens from a variety of the brands we sell here. They are arranged alphabetically, as you can maybe see if you're paying enough attention, from Aurora all the way down to Visconti. Uh, and these are just like really cool pens that all have very special stories of their own. And you can find out more about that on the rest of our Instagram, our blog. We do features on these all the time. Over here, we have Cross. Cross is a really classic gift pen classic American brand as well, um, known for like the Townsend and the very uh, like classic design of their pens as well, I would say. A little quick feature, we have Varsity over here uh, on the right. They are a really good disposable pen from Pilot, one of the most affordable that we have in the store. So if you're trying to get into fountain pens or you just like to use a good disposable fountain pen, we have those for you in a good range of colors. Over here, we have our, I don't know, I wouldn't call this shelf particularly anything specific because there's a bit of a range here but we have some cases up here from yak leather which is our brand and also aston leather and then we have some over here pen cases and sleeves from rickshaw uh tasha we have some tasha wrap sleeves and also yak and aston leather again over here we have travelers travelers notebooks are known for their customizability uh and their portability as well so they're meant to help you go through the world um, kind of being spontaneous and kind of living a personalized experience, which they help you do by all of the different inserts and stuff that they have for those. Over here, we have Field Notes. Field Notes are really known for their memo books, particularly their uh, National Park memo books, is what I meant to say. Uh, the really cool kind of collector's stuff they have there. These are a few more um, cases and sleeves in the brands that I already mentioned. And then down here, we have uh, J. Urban, um the wax seals and wax uh, stamps. And then also down here, we have some blotting paper from them. This uh, dinosaur is from a staff party that we had recently, but behind him, we have another case. We got Monteverde USA on the top there, US brand, as you can kind of tell. Another American brand, we have Retro 51. They are known for their tornado rollerballs, their capless rollerball. They have a bunch of really cool um, 
designs on the outsides of them that are really well thought out. Our exclusive with them is what Laura is trying to get me to show you right now. We have a set for them and also a fountain pen with them. And it is the Apollo Soyuz uh, special edition that commemorates uh, that collaborative effort that ended the Cold War. Below Retro 51, we have ST DuPont. ST DuPont is a French brand known for their luxury luggage, leather goods, and lighters, but also their pens, which are known to use really, really high quality uh, materials. Over here, we have David Oscarson. David Oscarson's pens, each one is a work of art. Each one is a limited edition, and they use guilloche and hard enamel, uh, both really, really de detail-oriented and um, very laborious materials and uh, ugh, methods to use to make his pens, all really sculpted. Here we have Graf on Faber-Castell. These are pens of the year for Graf, and I'll talk a little bit more about Graf later when I show you our Graf case. Over here, we have our inks. We have over a thousand inks here at the Pen Boutique. I'm just going to kind of list them as we go by. We have Diamine up here. We have Lamy, uh, Graf von Faber over there, Faber Castell, some Platinums there. We have Mont Blanc. We have Pelican, Edelstein, known for their like inks of the year. Uh, we have Tasha, some really cool inks, cool boxes, one of my favorite boxes that we have. Uh, Pilot Iroshizuku, Sailor, and all of the different Sailor sub lines that they have, including Bungu Box. And then we have Kobe, Conklin, Private Reserve. Over here, we have Noodlers. Going even farther over here, we have Auto Hoot. What? Auto Hoot? <laughs> Visconti, I can't say it right. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, Kyonoto. Yep, Kyonoto. Three Oysters, J. Urban, oldest ink brand in the world. Uh, Robert Oscarson. Robert? <laughs> Robert Oster. Whew! As Australian brand, known for their shimmer inks. Uh, over here we have Monteverde, Monteverde and Montegrappa are sometimes hard for me. Monteverde is a great affordable ink. And then down here we have Colorverse, known for their really cool um, bottles, but also the uh, like e coloring the universe um, tagline that is like their goal. Moving over here we have, oh sorry, these are our minis for this, really cute. And then, oh, if you wanted to take a look at any of these pens, it, not pens, inks at any time, we have our big book of inks. I'll show you a little bit what it looks like because obviously you're probably thinking, how am I supposed to choose when I'm spoiled for choice here? And we are also here to help guide you, um, give you suggestions if you come into the store. Uh, looking over here, we have Parker. Parker's a really classic fountain pen brand and um, other ballpoint notably, uh, but they're known for like their sonnets uh, and their jotters, which I'm gonna show you over here. The Parker jotter is a really classic ballpoint. You'll see it in movies a lot when someone has a ballpoint pen. Just a fun fact about them. A lot of authors use uh, not only Parker jotters, but also their sonnet and their fountain pens. Over here, we have Waterman way down here. They're more affordable allure and um, ooh, pastel lines. I forgot the name of it. But we have Waterman right here. Waterman is another really classic gift pen brand, but they are also a, a U.S. brand, which you would not know by their name being Waterman Paris. It's called that because they transitioned to having a lot of their operations in Paris um, after the World's Fair, they were recognized. But that's besides the point of what we're doing right now. But here we have Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc, obviously a super iconic brand, German. You got that white star that you're gonna see on the tops of all these pens. These are their uh, regular line pens that we have here in these two cases, and Laura's gonna show the other case here. Uh, oh yeah, and then these are their Meisterstucks Mont Blanc, uh, our limited editions, and then the really high-end Sailors and Pilots are the only pens in the store that you cannot dip test yourself when you come in. But we do have a tester set for you for the Mont Blancs so that you can try those out as well. Over here, all along these lines are gonna be our Mont Blanc special editions. We have so many videos highlighting all of our limited editions and just specific ones. So you could take a look at our Instagram to look for more of those or our YouTube or our blog. We have a ton of features on that. Moving over here, we have Graf von Faber-Castell, which is the um, higher end kind of line of Faber-Castell. One of the oldest pen brands in the world, originally made pencils. This is a German brand um, known for a really classic uh, silhouette to their pens. And then over here, when Laura is finished panning, we have our outlet. Our outlet is a bunch of um, stuff that we have maybe had returned, something that might have a tiny scratch on it, uh, stuff that we just wanna have on clearance for you because we're just so kind. These are final, final sale and they often have really good deals on them. Over here we have Esterbrook. Esterbrook is a classic American brand uh, used by presidents and like Charles Schultz, a lot of fun 
a lot of fun stuff they have going on. They kind of took a hiatus in the 60s, but they returned in, I think, 2018, known for their uh, nibs particularly. I'll let Laura pan again there. Over here, we have Lamy. Lamy's a German brand. They are probably most notable for their safaris. Uh, their safaris are a really distinctive silhouette on those as well, and they are a really great beginner pen. Speaking of beginner pens, we have the Platinum Preppies over there. Platinum Preppies are a really great starter pen as well. They come in a bunch of fun colors, uh, and these are from Platinum. Yeah, because they're Preppies. Okay, over here we have Lamy's higher end uh, lines, I guess, and a notable one there would be the Lamy 2000, which is a really classic pen for someone transitioning to higher end um, pens. Fountain pens in particular. As we look over here, we have our, um, we have another case that just has some smaller brands as well. So we have Stipula up top. Down here we have Edison. Next we have Carandosh, the only um, Swiss brand to, that we have to my knowledge. And then at the bottom down here, we have our Parker Jotter I Am A Survivor pen, uh, which is it, to support breast cancer research because our owner, Lena Shreesa Manan, is a breast cancer survivor herself. Over here, we have Aurora. Aurora is an Italian brand. They are notable for having every part of their pen, including the nibs, be made in Italy. Only Italian brand that does that. Looking uh, to the left of Aurora, as soon as Laura's done showing you some of their pens, we have Pelican. Uh, Pelican is a German brand known for their nibs craftsmanship, I would say. Something notable about them. And then below it, we have Euchre's. Euchre's has a very distinctive uh, silhouette to them as well. Looking to your left, we have Jaxagori or Yaxagori. He makes uh, pewter pen stands that are really in intricate and uh, unique designs. Right below him, we have Platinum. They're, they're like higher end pens because they do make like the preppies and the prefounts that are good beginner pens. Below that, we have Conklin. And then below Conklin, Conklin's a US brand. And then below Conklin, we have Penider. I'm gonna just show that here. They are from Florence. Italy to be more specific, or not less specific, I guess, more descriptive. Here we have our notebook walls. We have sell a variety of different brands in our notebooks. We have Rhodia, Claire Fontaine, Maramon, Nemesine, Oasis, Write Notebooks, Tomo River Paper, uh, Monk Paper, which we uh, we sell ourselves. That is our brand here at the Pen Boutique. Um, o Faber Castell, and then I always forget the name of this one. Oh, yeah. Apica. What is it? Apica. Apica. That's correct. That's correct. Right behind you. What? The Lamy pen? Oh, yeah. Our giant. Yeah, the giant Lamy. I didn't think that. I think they, that was self-explanatory. But over here, we have uh, some other deals. These change depending on the time of year and whatever deals we have going on. Those are just a few of them. You can learn more about them in our uh, special deals uh, video that we have on the Instagram. Over here, we have Kaveco, German brand, known for their sport pens. Uh, and then after the Kavecos, when she's finished scanning, really, they have a lot of different lines for them. Mm -hmm. the, the specific sport kind of outline and they have other stuff going on. Then we have Schaefer right here. Up here, we have the Punalabo pen stand cases. These have a bunch of really cute animals, pen or pencil stands. Even if you're not into fountain pens, you can appreciate these pen stands. They run at like $20, super affordable. And they're also really, really cute silicone cases. Here we have, uh, oh, this is a Mont Blanc notebook spinner. So if you're looking for a Mont Blanc notebook, we have it usually in here. And then over here, we have more traveler's accessories, stuff to go in a traveler's notebook uh, that you can use for your traveler's notebook. And then here we have some Lamy notebooks. And next to them, we have Montegrappa. Montegrappa does a lot of special edition, or uh, limited edition pens that celebrate different uh, different themes. So they have like NASA and Lord of the Rings, and they had Game of Thrones, Harry Potter, uh, Oh, we also have an exclusive with them that is the Venetian Lagoon pen. That's the red one that you'll see there. Next to this, we have Faber-Castell. Faber-Castell, again, German brand, super old brand, one of the oldest in the world. They, uh, This is a more affordable line of <laughs> Faber-Castell and Graf von Faber-Castell. Uh, and next to it, we have our pencils. If you're looking for a pencil in any of the brands that we sell here, usually it is going to be in this case, except for Mont Blanc. Uh, so we have a variety of different brands here. I think the notable ones for pencils would probably be like SketchUp's for Kaveco, uh, Rotring, Graphon Favor Pencil, and Perfect Pencil. Um, but we have a bunch of different lines for those as well. Last but not least, we are looking at Sailor. Sailor is known not only for their inks and their ink 
meistering, but also their nib meistering. They are, uh, they make really good quality 21 karat and 14 karat nibs uh, that run a little finer, have a little bit more feedback, a lot of character to them. And another notable aspect of Sailor is that we sell their bespoke line, their really high edition Rushi lacquers that Laura's gonna show at the end of her panning. Uh, but they have a lot of really cool lines that they come out with. And we are fortunate to be not only an authorized retailer at Sailor, but also an authorized bespoke retailer. We're very proud of that fact here at the Penn Boutique. And that is going to conclude our tour. If you would like to get a little more information about any specific aspect of the tour, you could comment it below and we might make a video about it, or you could come in for yourself. Uh, but thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe. And if you do love pens, inks, stationery, and also wanted to be updated with all new happenings in Pen World, we can be found in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Addresses are below. Thank you for watching and stay safe.